Hello again YouTube and I'm back with an update video and in this video I just want to kind of bring you up to date on what's going on with my vehicle. Um, here you see that I still, I'm still running with the, uh, my uh, battery replacement my, with uh, my ultra capacitors in my 3D printed box and uh, I've been running for a few weeks now and it's been running very well. Uh, the only issue that I've had with the uh, system is the box it's, is with the box itself. The box itself, um, the materials weren't, you know, that was used in the 3D printing wasn't, um, you know, sturdy, you know, enough for the heat. So there's some warp, there was some warping going on, just a little bit, not much, but it's enough to notice. Um, but, you know, it's just cosmetic, but, you know, the box itself is still, you know, stable. I mean, it's still sturdy and it'll, it'll hold up and it'll do just fine. Uh, just that there was a little bit of warping. If I wanted to do a 3D box again, uh, well, what I would have to do is utilize some, maybe some different material that can withstand, you know, the heat within the engine compartment itself. Uh, it was, it's not enough to melt this or anything. It's just enough to kind of warp it a little bit. And so if I wanted to go back, I would have to give them some different parameters saying, hey, you know, I need some more, you know, some sturdier material. Also, uh, taking a cue from Laser Saber and a few others, um, I built my own battery pack, and this battery pack is not lithium ion. Uh, you know, I use some old spare parts that I had, and all of these are just some, you know, battery holders. Um, and this right here is a, you know, a little battery uh, holder, and it has a switch. I don't know if you can see that. It, this is just an on and off switch. And all the, and these are just some AA batteries, rechargeable AA batteries that I've got in series. And it comes up to be about, you know, uh, 15 volts. And so I've got them connected on the positive and negative terminals of my capacitor bank. And what the idea here is to see what it would do, see if it would keep the, uh, uh, the battery, I mean, I'm sorry, the ultra capacitors from, you know, discharging. Now, I've discovered that you can actually park this vehicle for about three days, about two and a half, three days, and still come out and crank the vehicle. It only takes nine volts to crank my vehicle. It's only it's a typical four-cylinder Kia Sorento, and it takes about nine volts with these ultra capacitors to crank. Uh, with, a with a regular battery, absolutely not. But with ultra capacitors, just nine volts. Uh, as well, the ones that I have. These, I have a... I have six Maxwell 2.7 volt 3000 farad capacitors and in series so that'll give me a, a capacitance of uh, 500 farads and so at, at uh, 16.2 volts. So what my plan is to utilize this uh, battery bank or this you know, I'm sorry battery pack that I've made and I'm utilizing this uh, little container that I had you know that I, you know, kind of had from other projects and so forth. So this is kind of holding it in place just for now. And I've got it connected. And my plan is to put a diode in line with this so that, you know, this will supply power to the ultra capacitor, but won't allow power uh, or current to come back to the battery bank, uh, the battery pack. So what I'll do is I'll just simply, you know, recharge these with my, uh, I got uh, a couple of rechargers and you know I can charge these things up pretty fast and so this thing works great with the switch I just turn it off connect it up to the terminals and then turn it back on so there's no arcing and sparking this thing fits in the little cubby hole here you know just fine and as you can see here um, I've had it you know kind of plugged in I started the vehicle turned it off and just plugged it up to see what would happen and so what's happening is this is slowly climbing it'll climb up to about 15 volts depending on what the state of charge is for this battery pack but it'll climb and it'll just and then once it finishes uh, once this particular uh, this ultra capacitor bank reaches uh, once it once it reaches uh, the same battery voltage as this battery pack then it'll just simply stop and uh, so so far it's working pretty well and the idea here is I'm going to take something like this uh, maybe in this container or maybe another container it just depends on what I come up with I'm going to take something like this and I'm going to put it right there uh, I mean it, there's plenty of space uh, to kind of to mount it uh, right in this compartment 
And what'll, what'll happen is it'll, when I park the vehicle for a, uh, you know, maybe a week or something, if I had to, if I had to do some traveling or whatever, then I, you know, coming back, I, you know, there'd be absolutely no problem. Just start the vehicle and go. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm already at 14.5 and it's trying to climb up to 14 points, uh, 14.56. Um, it's slowly, this, this uh, capacitor, I mean this battery pack is slowly recharging or charging up this capacitor bank. And then it will stop, you know, a little, it'll hover around almost to 15 volts. Uh, another update is what's going on with my E85, changed the E85 uh, converter here. As you can see, I'm still using it. I did run into a problem with it and it had something to do with the connectors. Um, with the, I'm talking about the circuit, the circuit, not the actual, you know, and you know, seals or anything like that. With some people say, well, it's going to start leaking, and uh, that's a lie. But anyway, I'm talking about with the electrical connections, um, and I think the, uh, you know, when you, you know, I had uh, some bad connections, and I had to change, I had to fix the connector so that, you know, I was getting too high a resistance in in one of the banks as far as with the uh, the actual electrical connections and I had to fix it but after that it's fine so I've only had some problem with some bad connections and other than that it runs fine it's on E85 keeps the car running fine and uh, so I've been using this for a number of years so anybody that says hey if you run E85 in your vehicle it's gonna tear it up or it's just gonna you know stop working or anything like that uh, that's not true so anyway getting back to this here and as you can see it's it's still climbing so it's already at 14.59 so it doesn't really take a lot for this particular tiny battery pack to power uh, this or to recharge or top off or you know uh, this particular capacitor bank and the idea is the reason I, I chose this as opposed to going with a lithium-ion battery pack from for an RC or something like that um, is because you know I can buy these batteries at Walmart or some other you know convenience store just, these are just typical rechargeable batteries so that you know they sell them everywhere and they're a lot cheaper and they're a lot more convenient and with a diode in place you know to keep current from coming back and only current going to my capacitor bank then that'll be fine and so whenever I need to recharge it just charge it up and call it good so um, that's what that's what's going on right now. Again, this this particular these ultra capacitors are you know running just fine. They're doing an awesome job, awesome job with uh, keeping the car uh, you know starting and and so forth. All right, take care, YouTube.